With some photos, you're just going to want to have a little bit of fun. I had a lot of fun photographing this subject. This is a grotesque atop the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. And you can see, of course, the Eiffel Tower off in the distance. And the juxtaposition is a little bit humorous. It's like the grotesque is looking off at the Eiffel Tower in the distance. And I'd like to have a little bit more fun with this photo by having this grotesque come to life a little bit and pop out of the photo itself. For that, I'll use the out of bounds effect, one of the guided edits that's a little more whimsical. I'm already in the guided edit mode, so I'll scroll down on the right panel to the photo play section, and there I'll choose out of bounds. The first step is to create a frame. The out of bounds effect is going to turn my photo into sort of a classic looking portrait with a white border around it. I can add some perspective and depth to that, but then I can have a part of the photo appear outside of that frame. So I'll start off by clicking the add frame button. I can then move the frame around. I'll put my mouse inside this box and click and drag to adjust the position of the frame itself. I think for this photo, I might adjust the size. So I'll stretch that frame by grabbing, in this case, the right handle of the frame. And I think I'll bring the bottom edge upward just a little bit. I think right about there will work out pretty well. The thing I want to keep in mind is that the grotesque itself is going to be popping out of the frame. And so I definitely want to have a portion of the grotesque outside the frame. And in fact, maybe a little bit more. Perhaps I'll have that frame come down just a little bit further on the head of the grotesque. That looks to be pretty good. I can also skew the frame. I can hold the Command, Option, and Shift keys on Macintosh. That would be the Control, Option, and Shift keys on Windows, and then drag one of the corners. I'll go ahead and hold those keys, and you can see that I'm able to create some perspective, as though this print that we're going to create, this border effect, is fading away from us, going off into the distance. I think that shape will work well. I'll go ahead and click the green check mark button to commit that change. And now I can adjust the width of the actual white border that's being added to the photo. I'll go ahead and drag the handles outward. You can see that I'm creating a selection here that will be used as the basis of the border effect. So I'll just adjust the width. I want to make sure that all four sides are about the same width, and more importantly, that I'm happy with that width. This looks to be pretty good. I'll go ahead and commit that change by clicking that green check mark. And now you can see we have a preview of the effect. Not the final effect just yet, but a preview. I have that frame added to the photo, and now I'm ready to define which portion of the photo will be popping out of that frame. I'll scroll down on the right panel, and then I'll click the Selection Tool button. And I'm going to use the Selection Tool to select the grotesque. I can use the left and right square bracket keys on the keyboard to adjust the size of my brush for the selection tool. The left square bracket key will reduce the size of the brush, and the right square bracket key will increase the size of the brush. I'll go ahead and click and drag on the head of the grotesque. Now, I don't need to select the entirety of the grotesque. I just need the selection of the grotesque to go all the way inside the frame that we've added to our photo. So I'll just paint along areas of the grotesque in order to identify that subject. And that selection looks to be pretty good. So I think we're good to go. I have a selection of the portion of the grotesque that I want to pop out of the frame. So now I'll click the Out of Bounds Effect button in order to add the Out of Bounds effect for the photo. And as you can see, I now have a grotesque popping out of my snapshot of Paris. It's looking pretty cool, but we can also add a couple of other effects. I'll start off with a background gradient. I'll click the Add Background Gradient button, and a new layer dialog appears. I'll go ahead and click OK there. And then we can choose the gradient that we'd like to add. For this image, I think I'll add something that's a little bit dramatic. I think perhaps just a linear gradient or perhaps even a reflected gradient will work well. I'll adjust the angle here. That's looking pretty cool. I'll go ahead and move the gradient fill dialog out of the way. Obviously, in this case, a bit of a dramatic effect, but I think that suits the subject. So we'll go ahead and leave that as it is. But as you can see, you can also choose a variety of different gradients and, of course, create your own as well. 
I'll go ahead and click the OK button to apply that gradient, and then scrolling down, we'll see that the final effect is to add a shadow, a drop shadow around our grotesque and our photo. I'll go ahead and choose the large option, and that adds a nice big drop shadow around our subject here. And there you have it. I'll go ahead and click the Done button, and now we have a very dramatic result and a fun result for an image that was fun to capture, is fun to look at, and is even more fun now, thanks to this out-of-bounds guided edit.